All right, so we are doing volume in fifth grade. Uh, first off, before we start this, I just wanted to say that I think some of the problems with uh, volume are that the fifth graders are having is just knowing their basic facts. Uh, as much as you guys can practice at home, that'd be great. Uh, up to 12, but nine is awesome. Just practice, keep practicing those. Uh, if you're driving in the car, uh, soccer practice, whatever, just keep practicing those basic facts. So I think we're a little slow on those right now. And I think some of their, their mistakes are uh, just not knowing those facts. So we're doing volume. Uh, the formula for volume is length times width times height. And I always start every single problem by writing that down. So the length of, the, is, of this cube is going to be the front. I always do the front front of the cube and uh, so I put a two right underneath the L so the width is going to be the front to the back so it's going to be two on this one and the height is three so this is actually the cumulative property right here so it doesn't matter which one I really do first uh, I can do the two times two or the three times two it just depends on the numbers and the students some students like to do certain numbers first uh, so it really doesn't matter. So uh, I'm going to do this. Two times two is four. And then I'm going to bring that answer down in three. And four times three is 12. So I know my first one is 12 cubic feet. And if I would have done it the other way, three times two is six. Six times two, you still get 12. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Thanks to that cumulative property. So length times width times height length across the front is six width is two and my height is three six times two is twelve twelve times three is thirty six so i'm going to put thirty six cubic feet down here okay so now we get a little bit harder when we have these compound figures here so you can divide them two different ways uh, almost all of them and you're always going to get the same answer if you do them correctly so this one I'm going to break I'm just going to cut it right along that axis right there so I'm going to have a X and a Y I'm just going to label these and I'm going to have a length width and a height for X and a length width and a height for y and then when I'm find those I'm gonna add those two together so for the left one for this X the length is only two I'm not gonna look at the whole thing because I only want the X figure so the length is two my width so the width is from the front to the object to the back so in this one I know it's two here but that it only gives me halfway so I look at this other side and I know this is two, so I'm gonna add those two together. So I have two feet back here, plus the two feet in the front. It's gonna give me four total feet. And then the height, the height is three foot. So I'm gonna put that right there. Two times four is eight. Eight times three is 24. So I have 24 cubic feet for the X value. So now I'm gonna go over here and do the Y, the length is four the width of just y is only two and the height since it's way over here but I know since it's three there three there three there it's gonna be three for this whole shape it's not gonna change four times two is eight eight times three is 24 so I have 24 plus 24 so 48 cubic feet would be the total volume Okay, this figure over here, let's break this one down. Straight down. So I'm gonna have an X and a Y again. X length times width times height and a Y length times width times height. So X value, the whole thing is eight. And since I chopped it right there, I cut it, I got rid of two. So my eight minus that two, it's gonna become a six over here. 
So the length is gonna be a six, width is two, and the height. So I'm looking for this part right here now. It is not given to me in this equation or in the picture. So I'm gonna look over here, the full thing is seven. The top part is five. That means that this section right there is two. Seven minus five is two, so I have two left. So my height is gonna be two. You could do two times two is four, times six just to mix it up is 24. So then we gotta do y. The length of y, we already figured that out, was two. It says it on the top. The width is still gonna be the same. The height this time, we use the whole thing. So two times two is four, bring down my seven, 28. So 28 plus 24 is 52. So it'd be 52 cubic, and this one's centimeters. Okay. Number five. So I'm gonna cut this one down and make it two figures as well. An X and a Y. I'm going to do X length times width times height. Y length times width times height. The length is X. The length of X is just five. The width. So the whole thing is six. Over here, this is the one I'm gonna need since I cut it at that axis right there. So I need the five. I do not use the six because I, that part goes over there. So it's five, the height. So the whole thing is three. I'm not gonna use that because I only need the height of this portion right here. So I know that the whole thing is three and I know the top part is two. So three minus two is one. So my height is one. 5 times 5 is 25, times 1 is 25. So then I go to the Y part of the shape. So the length is still going to be 5. My width, I know the whole thing is 6. I know the top part of it is 5. So I was going to do that 6 minus 5, and that's going to give me the width of that Y. So that's going to be 1. And my height, it tells me it's three. So let's do three times one this time. It's three, three times five is 15. 15 plus 25 equals 40 cubic feet. Okay. And let's look at number six. This one I'm going to Cut it down, X and Y. Length times width times height, Y, the same thing. The length, so I have 10 inches for the whole length. I know that this part over here is three, so that's gonna be a three. So that changed change my 10. 10 minus three is seven, so I know my length is seven. The width is four, my height is 12. So I could multiply those. And it doesn't matter which method you do use. Uh, you're gonna get 336 for this and they can show you the area model or the partial product if you want to do it either way or some of them know the standard algorithm from last year so that's fine too the length of y is three the width is four and the height is six so when you do those you get 72 you add those together, you get 408 cubic inches. All right, here's my email address. If you have any questions, 
Hiring, H-E-U-R-I-N-G, first initial Darren, at msdr9.org. Before I'm done, I wanted to go over a couple questions on the back. Uh, there's some more like this we've been working on. These will give you the length, the width, and the height all in there. So let's do this one right here. Uh, number four, it says, how many spaces take, how much space is taken up by a rectangular tissue box that is five inches long, four inches wide, and five inches high? So it's just length times width times height. And just plug those in and multiply. So pretty, a lot easier than dividing the shape up. So this one's, it doesn't matter, inches, inches, inches long, wide, and high. So even if you end up putting them in the wrong spot since that cumulative property, it's not really gonna matter. Uh, but I always like to write it down just in case they try to trick you. Three, three, and nine, okay? So that's it. Uh, just remember that cumulative property because I know sometimes the, the book likes to mix them up. So. Even though we got nine, two, three, since that cumulative property, it might show, uh, or it's a three, can't read my writing. It might show three, three, nine. All right, it might show, uh, on number eight, it might show three times four times six, uh, just to see if you understand that cumulative property. So if there was a, so you could write it as six times three times four. You could write it as three, six times three, and then that answer times four. It doesn't really matter. Just that cumulative property. So they just gotta understand, just because it's written like this doesn't mean that these are gonna be wrong. So these are all gonna be right answers, but I just like to put them in their length, width, and height. So, uh, if that's it so any questions um, my email is back on there the front again hiring d h e u r i n g d at msdr9.org thank you good luck with volume